Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if you're coming across an error message when attempting to use your printer on Windows 10 or Windows 11. This says when you're trying to add a printer, Windows cannot connect to the printer. Operation failed of error 0x00004005. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the search menu. And you want to type in troubleshoot. Best match, come back with troubleshoot settings. Go ahead and open that up. On the right side, underneath options, you want to select other troubleshooters. And underneath most frequent, select the printer troubleshooter and the run button. And hopefully at this point, it should be able to go ahead and diagnose and resolve the problem for you. Something else we want to take a look into as well. Go ahead and close out of here. Open up the search menu. Type in services. Best match. Should come back with services. Go ahead and open that up. And you want to go down to the print spooler service. And double click on it. Set serve type to automatic. And if service status is running, go ahead and stop it. And then select the start button. Then select apply and OK. And now we want to go ahead and close out of here. And if you're still having the problem, open up the search menu. Type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match, should come back to registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. So in order to create a backup, all you have to do is select File and then Export. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set Export Range to All and save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you have to do is select File and then Import and then navigate to the file location. And now we're ready to begin. So start by double clicking on the HK Local Machine folder. Do the same thing now for the system folder. Same thing for current control set. So double click on that. Should be a control folder in here. Double click on that. And then finally, there should be a print folder. So just go ahead and locate that. On the right side, you just want to right click in a blank area. Select new and then select the word 32 bit value. You want to name this value and it's going to be very important. It's going to be R, capital R, PC. Auth, A-U-T-H-N, level, L-E-V-E-L, -E -E privacy, enabled, exactly how you see on my screen. So again, R-P-C, A-U-T-H-N, L-E-V-E-L, P-R-I-V-A-C-Y, E-N-A-B-L-E-D. Hit enter on your keyboard. And now... By default, the value should be zero, but you may want to just double click on it just in case and make sure value data is set to zero here, the numerical value of zero. Base hexadecimal, doesn't really matter when you're talking about zero, but in any case, go ahead and select OK. And then once you're done with that, you will need to close out of the registry editor and restart your computer for the changes to take effect. So there you go, guys. Hopefully that was able to help resolve your problem. And as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.